Hi all, thanks for tuning in to A Libra's Way. I am going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry about this throat thing. You're going to hear that throughout my, my videos because I have this seasonal allergy. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> doing a cryptocurrency reading for Chainlink. So Chainlink, let's do a reading for Chainlink. Um, by the way, don't know too much about Chainlink. Um, but it seems like it's pretty popular. Seems like people are, there's a little bit of a following. So we're going to do a reading for Chainlink. Um, <clears throat> this one, it feels more like for the next, until summer. Doesn't feel like a year long one. It feels like November, 2021 to like end of summer, 2022. I don't know why, but that's what it is. So <clears throat> we're going to do our first card, I'm sorry, is um, Justice. So this is the Libra energy. Libra season, it could be that this past season or this past month in 2021 is when Chainlink started to kind of take off is what I'm hearing. And there's been a lot of groundwork in regards to getting it up and running. Um, there is money to be made here. It feels like by December, it could take off a bit. I feel like maybe people want it to 10x or it will 10x. That's what it feels like. But it's going to be kind of a slow burn is what it feels like with the Knight of Pentacles. So yes, they want it to 10x. There's money to be made. But it might be a slow burn to get to this place of like fully being funded. Fully loaded is what I just heard. And then... What's interesting is they just showed me a cheetah. They showed me the symbolism with this um, this uh, blanket of some sort. And it kind of looks like cheetah print. And they're showing me the symbolism of cheetahs being very fast. So it could be something that is like slow and out of nowhere. It just like skyrockets. Um between now and the end of this year. Let's get some cards for January, February, March. Like, what's going on? Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, which is kind of all about waiting, waiting it out to see what happens. But with it being paired with the Emperor, it's like people are waiting for it to be the next, the next Ethereum or something. Um, or the next, I don't know, the next Cardano is also what I heard. Um, I think that they're kind of doing, they're working on their checks and balances is what I heard. They're working on making sure it provides everything that it needs with the Six of Pentacles here. It's working on, this is what's kind of going to be worked on in the next like three to five months is what it feels like. Deception. There is the Five of Swords here, so it's like leaving some things behind. It could be that there's going through a restructuring in their actual, um, in the actual company. Like, for example, they're working on creating or developing some sort of, you know, they have the smart contracts, they have all these types of things, but Maybe it's that there are certain things or certain contracts or certain people that have to be let go in order for the structuring to be a bit better. It feels like there might be a lot of people like going in and out of the workplace, the, the, the creation of like, I don't know if there's like a chain link business, but it feels like it could be that it's like they're working to kind of sift through the people that aren't necessarily the best at what they're doing in order. And this feels like March. It feels like in March, this is kind of happening or by March or once March hits, that's when it starts happening, which is very, it's very normal, you know, for that to happen, especially in like the startup arena where there is like a bit of a higher turnover is what it feels like. It could be something where like Chainlink is going through that, trying to like, develop a platform, develop a foundation, become like a trusted cryptocurrency among the masses because 
I think a lot of them, a lot of these cryptos are trying to, they're, it's almost like the race for space. Like when all these other countries were trying to beat each other out to get to the moon first, this is like, it feels like Chainlink is really going to try to push those boundaries and barriers and like potentially even surpass. It might be something where it like, it becomes a, um, it becomes like a competitor, a main competitor, like in the top 10 in the near future. It might not stay there, but it's like something that it might happen because they're working on it. A top 10, top 15. It feels like it might crash though. It feels like it, it's going to try to get there. It's going to try to build stability, but then it crashes. This is for a lot of them because we have to keep in mind that 2022 is going to be an incredibly volatile year in regards to the economy, the great financial reset. These are all the domino effects of things that have happened at the beginning of the decade. Remember that what they're telling me, uh, the guides, is pretty much that we always have to use the analogy of the 20s for the, using the roaring 20s as the analogy. They're kind of saying that like there's going to be post post like 20s this time of I guess the depression this new wave of money and, and transfer of wealth emerges for a whole bunch of people and then out of nowhere there's a crash there's all this stuff that kind of flops to the side but then ultimately we re-stabilize in society this is not just for chain link but it's like this is tied to chain link this is tied to all of the blockchain things um um so new foundation four of wands i kind of want to get a feel for summer now what does summer hold and these are decent cards i wouldn't necessarily say they're the best cards but i feel like they're decent cards you know it's it's like it feels overall like it's a good investment, but it doesn't feel like it's going to like move mountains the way we think. I think what's going to happen is what it feels like is a lot of people, a lot of these, these projects are going to ultimately not be around in the long haul. A lot of currencies are going to be here that we never expected to stick around. And there are going to be other ones that are just like flop to the side that we never hear about again. So we have the Ace of Wands. We have, this is for summer, by the way. This is the Two of Wands. So the fact that it's like by summer, there's some sort of a new beginning. Because we have the Ace and the Two of Wands next to each other. One symbolizes new beginnings. Two resemble or symbolizes some sort of a partnership. I do feel strong partnership. I feel like maybe by summertime, there is some sort of a significant partnership, maybe a smart contract thingy, or you know how like countries are like suddenly partnering with individual currencies. It could be something like that that occurs by summertime. It feels like maybe Latin America by cancer season, June to July. It feels like a full on country potentially, or like a full on it feels like a full on like world. So when I talk about when, it, when we use the word world in this regard, it's like every country has its own system, right? Its own world, its own ecosystem as to how it functions. So again, this feels like it's something significant comes together with the chain link cryptocurrency by Cancerian season of 2022. Okay. Yeah, and it's destined to do well. It, it is destined to do well, is what it feels like. It will do well. But again, it, it, not a financial advisor. It could be one of those that in the long run sticks around. Maybe not. It could be something that I'm also hearing like it could even merge in the next five years, merge with another coin. And, you know, kind of like how a large company buys out a bunch of small companies. It could be something like that, is what it feels like. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this chain link cryptocurrency, November, 2021 to like the end of summer, 2022, um, reading and 
hope you have a great day again disclaimer this is not legal financial advice this is just what my cards are showing me and what my guides are showing me so um keep it in mind take notes if you feel like it but uh other than that have a great day look for some more readings on crypto bye